Anytime you do a search in Google Scholar or any other database in which you're just putting words in the box and seeing what the results will be, you're most likely doing a keyword search. Keyword searching uh, returns a large number of results, largely because it searches every field of the citation. An example can be seen when we look at this particular um, citation from CINAHL. You'll notice that every place in red are the spots in the citation that when you're doing a keyword search that the database searches. Therefore, it returns to you a lot of articles that address the topic you're looking for, but it will also uh, return a lot of articles that don't address the topic on which you're interested. While keywords search all over a um, citation and give you a lot of articles, sometimes not related to your topic, there are times when you should use them or when they're valuable. One is when you're looking at or looking for a topic that's new, where there's new terminology. When this occurs, you have no choice but to use keywords. Another time you might use it is when there's a, the term is rare. It doesn't appear a great deal. Another is when the term has no available subject heading. When a subject heading is available to describe your topic or concept, it's best practice to use it. But because a controlled vocabulary list does not always have every word or every term available, you may have no choice but to use a keyword. Another time to use it is when there are spelling variations. This especially happens when you're looking at international uh, literature where the American spelling may not match up with the European spelling, such as the American spelling for color is C-O-L-O-R and the European spelling is C-O-L-O-U-R. In those cases, you have little choice but to use keywords. As I've mentioned, a big drawback to using keywords is it's very hard to do a focused search because your results will have a lot of unrelated or uh, not useful citations in them. Largely, this is because of how the database searches every field of the citation. But the other issue you're going to have is synonyms. You're going to find as you're doing searches that the terms that you're using you're thinking of them one way, but within the English language, you may find that they're used in a very different way, such as when it comes to nursing. As you know, nursing can be a profession, but it also can be a description for how you feed a baby. And so you have to keep those things in mind when you're looking at your results and wondering, why is it that I'm getting so many results and so few of them um, apply to what I'm looking for? Not only uh, is it hard to do a focused search, but if you ever are doing a keyword search, you're also never going to be fully confident that you have a complete search. Because when it comes to keywords, what you're going to find is that many times you're going to have to use several different terms or concepts to describe the same thing in order to make sure that you're gathering all of the articles on a particular topic because you can never be sure how someone's describing something and that is especially true when you think about the various databases many times what you may find is that you're having a hard time finding enough articles because your background or education may not be one that allows you to be as familiar with the topic as you may need to be to come up with multiple terms. But not only that, as you go into the different databases, what you're going to find about them is that they're all intended for different audiences. And those audiences may be addressing a topic in a different perspective or in a different way. For example, if you use CINAHL and PubMed, as a nurse, you may find that the terminology you use to describe patients or conditions in CINAHL um, work very well in you being able to find all the articles you want. But what you may also find is that when it comes to uh, using PubMed and those same um, terms, that because they're more nursing than, than medicine, 
that you're not as successful because PubMed is a biomedical database uh, that takes a very medical approach or a medical perspective when describing a patient or condition and so therefore it may be the same patient or condition but it may be described slightly different using medical terminology that isn't always in line with how a nurse would describe it because a doctor is coming from a different perspective when it comes to either describing or treating a patient. And so you have to keep all these things in mind when doing a keyword search that you're going to get a lot of stuff that you don't want and in order for you to get everything you do want you're going to have to make sure that you use multiple terms. While understanding all the drawbacks of keywords, there are some things that you can do to make your keyword searches better, aside from coming up with multiple terms to describe the same thing. One thing you can do is use what is called truncation. Truncation is where you can put uh, the star symbol, or shift 8 if you're on a PC, um, either at the end of a term or at the beginning and what it will do is help you to expand your search. It will either uh, put a prefix, every available prefix, or every available suffix depending on where you put it. So truncation is one way that you can expand a search, especially when you're not sure how someone may be describing something, like whether it's a singular description or they're describing it plural. Another thing you can do is use what they call grouping. Grouping is where you use quotation marks. What this will do is help the, or force the database to search whatever you're looking for as a phrase. If you're searching for a phrase and you don't use quotation marks, what the database will automatically do is break it up. An example would be something like pressure ulcer. If I don't put that in quotation marks, it'll look for pressure and ulcer which means you'll get our articles that are on pressure ulcers but you'll also get other articles where pressure and ulcer are described such as I have a stomach ulcer the reason I have it is because I was under a lot of pressure if that's within a uh, abstract that article will also show up it has nothing to do with a pressure ulcer but because it has those two terms in it it will show up so one of the things you can do to help more focus your search is to put it in quotation marks. Another thing that you might want to make sure that you do is take advantage of searching with specific citation fields. Uh, when, I, when I do this I always suggest to people that the best fields to search if you're trying to ensure that your um, results are going to be on your topic is to search the citation fields of the title and the abstract because these are the two fields of a citation where it's most likely going to discuss the uh, topic or the subject of that particular paper. In PubMed you can do this within the advanced search or by using the tag TIAB. In CINAHL you're going to have to use the drop downs beside the search boxes uh, in order to get it to search just for that specific keyword uh, within the uh, various citations. If you use any of these depending on your aim you'll find yourself having a better search uh, that's more focused and hopefully returning results to you uh, that are more meaningful or address your top. In review keyword searching is valuable but does come with its drawbacks. You're going to have to use keyword searching anytime you're searching for a new term or there's no subject heading available. But when it's available, use subject headings because they'll help to make up from some of the drawbacks of doing a keyword search. Also, be sure that you use more than one term to describe the same thing in a database. This will help you to ensure that you're doing a more complete search and get the art articles that are needed uh, in order for you to answer your research question. Also, if you want to make sure that you're doing as good a search as possible or as, as focused a search as possible, you may want to take advantage of things like searching the specific fields of a citation and taking advantage of things like using truncation and grouping to ensure that the results you get um, are articles that address your topic 
and are as focused as possible.